Shalom, Shalom. This is me again, Natanya Israel from um, Blessed Hand Maidens of the um, Israelite Heritage Women's Ministry. And I'm um, sorry about that, the cut of the first video. Um, I had to, my memory was full. I had to delete a few things, but um, I'm back. And I was about to read, um, I was in Telehim, Psalms chapter 6. And um, I want to comment first. We tend to think that we um, can party like a rock star our whole life and, you know, and then, um, and still inherit the kingdom or still, you know, people, like they say, you know, go to heaven, you know. You cannot make it into the kingdom if you're not abiding by Yah's laws or even believing in Him by knowing who He is and what He stands for and, and what's righteousness, you know. You only have, people say, you know, we only have one life to, um, so, so party hard or, you know, enjoy your life while you can, but you also have one time, only one life to get it right because um, there's no, we have no breath in our body. Our Ruach is, is gone and there's no connection to the Most High after we, um, after we're, after we're asleep, after we die. So, um, let's see what scripture has to say about that. So, Telehim, Psalms chapter 6. Verses, let's see, I'm with chapter 4, um, verses 4 and 5. And, um, and it reads, Return, O Yah, rescue my life, O save me for your kindness sake, for in death there is no remembrance of you. Wow. So, like I said, when we die, we're, our connection is cut off. You know, we've missed our opportunity. So now is the opportune time to get into this book and learn what we are supposed to be doing and you know and be a light to the Gentiles and, and the rest of the nation so um because once we're gone that's it you know it's it, the next time you wake up it'll be either the first resurrection or the second one which is you know the lake of a fire where you know what we call hell you know we already in hell we in Babylon but um you know the lake of fire is, is going to be your reward. And that's not what we want, you know. Not as chosen, not as the chosen people of the Most High. We want to be righteous. We want to be pleasing to His in His eyes. And we want to trust in Him through all circumstances and be, um, be able, be strong enough to endure to the end. So let's continue. I'm sorry, this lesson is called Make Yah Your Refuge, you know, your protector in a time of distress. And let's see... What else scripture has to tell us about being strong um, under the protection of the Most High? So, um, so I want to go to um, Psalms chapter 7, and I want to start at, at verse 1. And it reads, O Yah, my Master, in you I have taken refuge. Save me from all my pursuers. And deliver me, lest they tear at my throat like a lion, rending it into pieces, and no one to deliver. O oh, Yah, my master, if I have done this, if there is unrighteousness in my hands, if I have done evil to him who has peace with me, who is at peace with me, or oh, have plundered my enemy without cause, let the enemy pursue me and overtake my being, and trample my life to the ground, and lay my esteem in the dust. Arise, O Yah, in your displeasure. Lift, up, lift yourself up against the rage of my adversaries and awake me, and you shall command judgment. And let the congregation of the peoples gather you, about you and overturn, excuse me, and over them return on high. Now I'm going to continue to read, I'm going to read the whole chapter down to verse 17. And um, chapter 8, Yah judges the peoples. Judge, judge me, O Yah, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity within me. Please let the evil of the wrong be ended and establish the righteousness. For the righteousness, for the righteous master is a tree of the heart and kidneys. And, excuse me, my shield is upon Yah who saves the upright in heart. Master Yah is a righteous judge. And the master is enraged every day. If one does not repent, he sharpens his sword. He bends his bow and makes it ready. And he has prepared for himself 
instruments of death. He makes his arrows hot for pursuers. See, he who is bound with wickedness and has conceived trouble and brought forth falsehood, he has made a pit and dug it out and falls into the ditch he made. His trouble turns back on his own head and his wrongdoings comes down on top of his head. I give thanks to Yah according to his righteousness and praise the name of Yah the Most High. So this is telling us that, you know, first of all, Yah is the judge. He is he is the um the father of all righteousness. And if we choose to, you know, seek after falsehood or if we do wrongly to to our brethren, to our brothers, to the homeless, to the sick, to the fatherless, if we do harm to them, either willingly or unwillingly, we have to be we have to repent daily for anything that we do when we're not that we're not aware of. But Yah says what he's gonna do to those who are not taking heed. You know, he has prepared instruments of death, you know? He he's sharpening up his sword, ready to lay you out for your for your stiff neck, for you being hard head, you know, so we don't want to be laid out by the most high, believe me. So, um, let's continue to Psalms chapter, um, chapter 91, Telahim chapter 91, and I'm going to start at verses 1 through 4. Okay, chapter 91, verses 1, it says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, who abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He is saying of Yah, my refuge, my stronghold, my master, in whom I trust. For he delivers you from the snare of a trapper and from the destructive pestilence. He covers you with his feathers and under his wings you take refuge. His truth is a shield and armor. You know how we just read in Ephesians chapter um, chapter five, yeah, to um, chapter chapter five to to put on the armor of the Most High and and only being in His under only being under His wings under being in the, in the blood will um excuse me will will you find refuge? Under no other doctrine or no other belief or no other master, God, or anything will you find the refuge during this new world order. You know, wherever you are, if you believe in the Most High, not only believe, but if you follow and communicate and keep an open dialogue with the Most High and stay in tune with Him, there you will find refuge, you know. Um... You know, the the Father is, you know, p performs miracles, you know. If you if you don't have food, you know, he can he can bring manna, you know. Manna can fall from the heaven as in the wilderness when um when they <clears throat> was doing their, um, during the exodus of, of Moses and the children of Israel from, from Mitzrayim, from Egypt. And um, Moshe also, <clears throat> he brought water from, from the rock. So, you know, the Father can do... He knows what we need, and he comes right on time. Not when we want it, but right on time. So, you know, hallelujah. So I want to continue and read verses 7 through 12. But first, we're going to take a break and come back with part 3. Shalom.